Hey guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Lone and if you're new to the channel, girl, consider subscribing. Um, go through the page, see if it's something you're interested in. I mostly do motherhood stuff now. Um, I love fashion but quite recently I'm not really buying much fashion stuff because I am the size of a house. I am 32 weeks pregnant with twin boys. So today I'm going to do an update from 30, 31 to 32 because I feel like I've been doing the updates but they've been in vlog style so it's just been me kind of updating you quite quickly on what has been happening during these times. So now, brace yourself for a little TMI. Detailed details, right? You'll hear Maya in the background. She's home today. She's got no nursery, so you'll hear her. But yeah, so there's a little bit of a TMI situation here. As I said, I have 32, which I could not be happier with. Um, if you look back at my previous updates, I feel like I've always thought, oh, these guys are going to be so early. The girls were so early. But for me to be at 32 weeks, we could throw a party. So I'm quite happy with that. And I'm hoping they stay in there because I really want to make my baby shower. But it's going to be in June. So I am really cutting it close. Anyway, let me just jump right into it. I think I should backtrack a little bit. Because in my previous one, I spoke about, I think it was the end of 30 weeks when I went to the hospital because of my contractions and stuff. And as you know, when you are expecting twins towards the end or singleton babies at any point, I think in pregnancy, mostly second and third trimester, you can get Braxton Hicks. So it shouldn't really be all that alarming. Here's, here's, here's where, here's where where I was alarmed, right? I could not, first of all, I felt this horrible nausea, like I was just feeling really sick and dizzy and all around unwell. So I was very, very unwell for a couple, before bed. So I was like, oh no, oh no. So I stood up, went to the toilet. I had just made carrot juice. So I think maybe carrot juice triggered something so I threw up and literally it was just the carrots. <laughs> the carrots. So I had thrown up that night and I knew mm, that's not so great because this is my second time throwing up during this whole pregnancy. My first time was in first trimester and again I feel like it was triggered by something I had eaten. So red flag, I can't look at carrots the same right now. Like carrots upset me right now, <laughs> guys. Um, so yeah, carrot juice came right back out. And then a couple of hours later, so around 2 a.m., I went to the toilet. And when I say I went to the toilet, I mean I went to the toilet and did a number two at 2 a.m. Who even does that? So I was like, red flag, like maybe my body's like detoxing. Hello, Maya detoxing and getting ready for labor so already I was like alarmed so yeah and then the Braxton Hicks kicked in and they were vicious so that's how that's what led me to thinking that I was in labor it wasn't just purely Braxton Hicks and that's it um, I like the, de the detailed videos because it shows what can happen even though it's not really f full labor and when I got there, obviously, Twin A's heart was hyper. He was His heart was just out of his chats. So yeah, his heart was beating pretty quickly, but he's fine. Um, and it came down towards the end and it was a froze alarm. So that's the first one. And, and then, okay, yeah, so let's now come to end of 31 weeks right so now we're back on track i'm back active doing the things i like doing i'm busy painting the house i'm nesting full-blown nesting and then just before 32 weeks um which is this weekend now i feel tired which is normal tired is normal and then i feel 
my mobility has just decreased. Everything is, seems really heavy. Everything is hard to do. It's really difficult for someone who's active to not be active, like, or your body's telling you, you can't. It's like, I don't know, it's like a runner who can't run. It's, it's really frustrating because there's so much I want to do and there's so much I enjoy doing. For example, painting. And I wanted to make, build a boy's chest of drawers yesterday and I quickly realized my body said, no sis. Like it just said no. Like I picked up one of the parts of it <laughs> and it was just heavy. It just felt heavy. The whole thing. I looked at the, you know, Ikea. Ikea. What y'all are doing over at Ikea is, <laughs> it ain't right. Okay. It's not a one man job. So yeah, I could not for the life. I lifted the one, I think it was probably the base of the chest of drawers and I was like, nope, I'm gonna actually have to wait for my husband to do it on Friday. <laughs> and my impatience, you know, like uh, when you're nesting, it's just like your, your patience is very fun. So I have to wait, which is fine. Um, I haven't yet packed my maternity bag, which is a problem because this could happen at any point. Um, when we went for our 32 scan, 32 week growth scan on Monday, the boys seemed perfectly fine. They're growing literally same size, like they're like milligrams apart. But what they did say is, mama, just eat more. Your body is, like my body is, they had found something in my urine that suggests that I need to eat way, way more. So basically these boys are sucking me dry. That's my logic. <laughs> That's what I heard. So I need to just eat more and drink more. And I thought, oh, I thought I was eating enough. But yeah, I've got to snack more apparently. So that's oh another gosh. thing that I need to do. You finished? Okay, baby. Yeah, I need to eat more, which is a shock to me. But here we go. I need to eat more for the boys. And I am, we spoke a bit about labor. I mean, yes, we spoke about a, the birth plan um, this week, which was, she just made me sign it, but honestly, it was neither here nor there. The good, good, good news is twin A is head down, meaning good chances of vaginal birth, because I really did not want to see section. Um, I've never had one, but my vaginal births have been pretty great. So I don't want to, I just want a, a vaginal birth, as natural as possible. I'm not going to kill myself if I'm in pain. I do know that there has, there's a point where they might, because twin B is breech, turning him is an issue as well, it might be really painful, they don't know how long baby A will come, baby B will come after A, so there's so many things that could happen, like you could have baby B. As a c-section if there's complication and you've had baby a vaginally oh, again i've spoken about this in my previous video and it's just for me it's like why why lord um if you're gonna give me a c-section give me a c-section don't don't do both <laughs> but yeah so we spoke about it and she said that if these boys don't come so they would induce me at 37 weeks i thought oh, that's a long time away, but it's really not if you think about it. It's five weeks away um, Yeah, only five weeks and I will be seeing these tiny adorable human beings Intense exciting everything above <laughs> but yeah Five weeks guys five more weeks and then but the downside also when she explained about the twin labor is that we should expect a lot more people in the delivery room than we're used to because everyone is just on standby in case of any emergency and it seems every each twin has their own doctor or yeah rescue team or whatever so when they're working on twin A other people are waiting on twin B or ready to work on twin B so it might not I'm, I mean I'm gonna try and vlog it, but it, it sounds like it's a madhouse um, when you're giving birth with twins. 
compared to singleton babies anyway we will pray for like you know good arrival i will show you guys how far along um how big my tummy is let me show you what our wee app is saying pregnancy plus app if you don't have it it's a good it's a really good app so this is what it is currently saying mm -hmm. see they're saying seven weeks because um here they say seven weeks because they count they don't have twin settings so this is for if you were having a single baby but it is so oh my god it's so cute it's so cute this app is really adorable if you haven't had it i'd highly recommend it um there's so many things i'm doing around the house but i won't include it in this video this is where this video ends if you haven't subscribed subscribe share this video like this video become a part of our little family okay i'll show you the bump finally finally the bump <gasps> wow whoa 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 wow that's where we are say hello boys hello hello <laughs> whoa <laughs>